Good morning everyone, uh, my name is Morag and I'm going to be taking you through a couple of videos this morning. Um, one is going to be a warm up and mobilisation and the second one will be based around strength. So um, please just do what you would, what you want to do. You can either do both the videos or just one. I would suggest though that if you do the strength video that you do do the warm up one first. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing is we are going to walk our bottoms to the edge of our seats, if you can. Sitting upright, <clears throat> with back away from the seat, and this just makes your tummy muscles work. Okay, so take your arms down by your sides, and starting with your right arm, you're going to roll it up, back and down. Keeping your arm as straight as you can, and just targeting right into the shoulder joint. <clears throat> Start off with a small kind of movement, and then start to make your circle a little bit bigger if you can. <clears throat> if it causes a problem with any shoulder issues, then just reduce the range, but try and keep your arm as straight as you can. One more time. That's good, and relax that arm, and now we'll change sides. Same thing on the other side, keeping the arm as straight as you can, starting off with a small movement, and making the circle a little bit bigger if you're able to. And just keep breathing normally. Two more times. Make this the last one. And relax, good. Okay, we're gonna float the arms up to shoulder height and back down again. And again, try and keep yourself upright rather than lifting the arms up and leaning backwards. Just try and keep yourself upright. A couple more times. And one more time. Okay, this time we are going to take our arms out to the side. Keep them in view though, so you should still be able to see them out the side of your eyes. That's good. And again, just normal breathing. And one more time. Well done. Okay guys, let's work the brain here. So let's go right arm forward, left arm to the side. Back down, swap over and back down, swap again, and back down, and last time, and back down. That's good. Okay, we're just going to put our hands onto our thighs, and I want you to take your right ear to your right shoulder. Now, don't try and lift your shoulder up to the ear, just take your ear towards the shoulder, just as far as you can. Come back to the centre, hold it for a second or two, go the other way. Do not force this. Be gentle with your neck and just hold it there for a second or two. Come back to the centre, go the other way again. Back to the centre and last time. Back to the centre, good. Let's look down as if you're kind of looking, trying to look down your t-shirt. Come back up again and one more time. You should feel a stretch in the back of your neck and back to the centre. Good. Okay, we are going to take our right arm forward, take it down and then swap over and back down. That's good. Well done. And let's seesaw the arms now. Excellent. Okay, bend the elbows, start to march with the arms and then add the legs in. So remember your legs are roughly a distance apart. And trying to stay away from the back of the chair if you can, but if you do need to walk your bottom back to the back of the chair for a wee rest, then please feel free to do so. And then walk it back again to the edge when you feel you can join back in. And just keep breathing nice and normally, nice and easily. I know I keep saying about breathing, but some people do tend to stop breathing when they're exercising. They're concentrating that much, they forget about their breathing, which is not good. Okay, let's pause there. So if you're able to, cross your hands across your chest. <clears throat> Again, keep it upright. Turning from the waist, we are going to turn to the right, head and shoulders. Come back to the centre and then go the opposite direction. Back to the centre. Good. Just keep doing this. So I don't want you to really force turning, especially if you've got any lower back issues. If you do have anything like osteoporosis. You can still do the rotation, but please just don't go so far. All you're doing, you should still be able to breathe and talk as you turn, but don't force it. So just a little movement. 
Good, one more time each way. <clears throat> and last time, back to the center, arms back to marching and legs back to marching again. Well done. I hope my neighbor downstairs isn't uh, in and wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm marching across the floor. That's good. Okay, let's pause there. Hands up on our thighs again. We're going to take our feet a little bit wider this time. <clears throat> so this time uh, they're wider than our hips. You've got a hand onto either thigh. Right arm, you're going to reach up and over if you can. Come back to the center, swap sides and back to the center. Now if you do have any issues with your shoulders, you can reach across the body or you can just lean. Okay, so it's totally up to you. You know yourself better than I do because I can't see you obviously and just reach up and back and again just watch make sure that this doesn't cause uh, any discomfort and any lower back issues that you may have all we're doing is just trying to mobilize the lower back keep breathing that's good we're almost there one more on each side and last time and back to the center good walk the feet back to hip distance and back to marching again Remember, take a little rest if you need to. Walk your bottom back to the back of the seat. <clears throat> and just keep the heels lifting. That's good. And pause again. Okay, this time we're going to mobilise our knees. So you're going to take your right leg forward. So you straighten your leg out. Dug your heel into the ground to get back to place. Change legs and back. Good. Heel together. Heel together. If you feel you can... Add in the arms, so the arms are just following the legs. Heel together, heel together, heel together, heel together. We'll do four more, three, last two, last one. Good, and then back to marching again. Excellent. Good, good, good and pause again. So again, I'm going to go for um, a challenge in our brain. So let's take the right heel forward, the left arm, to get back to place and then swap over, back to place. So heel together, heel together. So we've got opposite arm, opposite leg. And some people don't really like doing this because you are actually making both sides of your brain work. So don't worry if you can't quite get it. Four more. Three more, last two, last one. Okay, and then back to marching again. Well done. So hopefully by now you're feeling a little bit warmer and ready to go on to the next video. That's good. Okay, guys, one more mobilization here. So we're going to go to the feet this time. We're going to mobilize the ankle. So I've taken one heel forward and I'm going to touch the same spot on the floor with my toe. Okay, so here we go. Heel, toe, 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 last one, heel and toe. Change legs. Heel, toe, 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 last one, heel and toe. And back to marching again. That's good, well done, we're just going to pause there. So I'm just going to stay here and just keep my heels lifting and I'd like you to do the same. So we've came to the end of the warm up mobilization. If you don't feel quite warm enough, you can do it again. You can also do this one standing, um, but I would just say that if you are got any issues with balance, then please make sure that you have a chair either at the side of you or in front of you. Um, just to give yourself confidence. Okay, that's the end of that one, guys, and I hope you enjoyed a little bit of mobilization and see you soon. Bye. -bye.